hello, I'm Joy Rosenthal. I have been teaching at Virginia Tech since 2001. And when I first came here, I was teaching intro to photography, all darkroom based. I didn't really begin teaching digital photography here until 2005. And then by 2007, the darkroom was dismantled and I only teach digital now. I teach a, a studio art course for non-art majors. It's called Art 1004. And my focus is digital photography. Since it's all online based, most of the time I uh, present and review students' images online. And this is the first time I got the opportunity to have them create prints. So that was very exciting for me and for them. The students' main focus in this course is controlling their camera. So at the beginning of this course, most students do not know anything about how to use a digital uh, single lens reflex. DSLR camera uh, and by the end of the course they understand how to manipulate it but on top of that they understand how to express themselves through the medium which I, I find to be the most difficult task in teaching the, in this class. Uh, you can always teach technicalities to people that's something solid but to, to learn how to understand and express yourself through a particular medium can be very uh, daunting and difficult. So here I have wonderful results. I love teaching this class because by the end of the class, I, they have all these aha moments. I'm like, wow, this is incredible. I can, I can control my shutter speed and, and make things look blurry or make them look uh, uh, liquid or, or uh, stop motion. You take so many photographs and I know people take thousands of photographs. How do you organize them? How do you put them in a way where you can find them and uh, preserve them? So I think this is a big part of photography that's not always presented. So what makes this course unique? This course is, is uh, unique in many ways. First of all, you know, the students that come in here and take the class make it unique. Because it's a university-wide course, I have students from many different backgrounds, many different majors, and they bring in a different experience of life, each one of them. And you can see that in their work. And I find ha having those uh, differences uh, presented in what you see is, is, um, is fascinating and it makes looking at the images uh, more interesting in a way. I teach in a virtual environment. I give lectures there. I um, critique there. And what is a virtual environment? This is like Second Life. It's a, a, a viewer where you go in and you have an avatar and you can sit and listen to the lecture, or I actually have a gallery in there, and we meet as a group in the gallery, and we can see each other's work in time together and review. So that's an important aspect of the, the class. The most important part of the uniqueness of this course is learning about photography. What does it mean? the history of photography, and uh, how students develop and, and uh, reflect on their understanding of what they're photographing. I chose to exhibit in the library, thanks to, to Scott. The reason is he gave me the opportunity for my, my students to have another way of presenting their work. And as I mentioned, this is a web-based class. So most of the time they present work on the web. And this way they actually got a chance to pick out work and figure out how do you save images to make a print from, which is very different than how you would save images for a web-based. Web so now, what is my favorite part about this course? Seeing the student grow from the, the beginning of the course to the end is, is, is really what 
what excites me. There are partners on, on campus that really help me uh, create this course and develop it. Uh, first of all, uh, SOVA School of Visual Arts, the support of my uh, colleagues uh, was a big part of this. In addition, uh, Innovation Spaces. In the beginning when I developed the virtual environment, Bill Flamel and Andrew Lincoln helped develop the space, but Andrew Lincoln really has continued to maintain it and help me in, in any way. He's a really crucial component right now. And finally, I'd like to thank the students who take my course. I learn a lot from them as much as they learn from me. They don't know that, but, but I do. They always expose me to something uh, new and exciting. I mean, that's what I love about teaching in the first place, teaching at the university. You're always finding new perspectives and views just by the students you encounter on a daily basis. So.